the entire year. Cade McNamara comes out throwing on target. The near side. They haven't asked him to do a lot. He hasn't had to do a lot with their success running the ball and playing with the lead. A lot of movement by the left tackle, a lot of finger pointing by the Black Shirts defense, and the flags fly. One two punch. JoJo Doman, a strong safety, plays all over the field, makes a lot of plays. There's Haskins. Just the second road start for McNamara. They won in a tough place in Madison last week. This crowd very loud to start the game. He's under duress and gets it off, but not completed. Off Caleb Tanner. Yeah, nice little game on the inside. He started outside, looped inside, got lost in the wash. The center, Andrew Vestard, is one of their best linemen. Not able to pick him up. Michigan from the floor. Wouldn't be surprised to see him try to get the ball to Cornelius Johnson here real soon. Hassan has to a big playmaker, as you saw, 24 and a half yards per catch. Only Tyrese Chambers of FIU averages more per reception. In the Three wide receivers and Haskins on the right hip of Cade McNamara, who keeps it. That's J.J. McCarthy into the game, actually. Haskins picks up the blitz. McNamara gets it off. One-on-one -on -one coverage. On the ball, now watch Haskins pick up Doman, who's an excellent edge blitzer. Gets right into him, allows McNamara to set his feet and make a strong throw. Heavily on the run. They've had eight touchdowns this season of 50 yards or more. McNamara over the middle, trying to get... They go five wide receivers on third down and ten. Four-man rush, it's well blocked, but the pass is... AT&T 5G Skycam. You can check out the AT&T 5G Skycast, streaming live on ESPN3 and the ESPN app. From Skycam, it's Blake Corum with his first carry of... Challenges. That's what Michigan has been doing all year. Power inside running and then sprinkle in some perimeter stuff. They operate out of the pistol. Corum grabbed and swung down. Third down and five and movement again. Just this. Play clock almost expired. McNamara is a wide open receiver over the middle. It's Luke Schoonmaker. Gonna, he's going to show block first. He's going to wait, wait, wait. Once everybody runs out of there, then release. You saw that linebacker, Luke Reimer. Last week at Wisconsin, McNamara will sling it again. He has another tight end wide open. It's Joel first quarter. And come out throwing more than usual. Eight passes now, five runs. Hassan Haskins straight ahead as they're in. Play fake to Haskins and a deep throw. Man breaking open behind the defense. Third down and eight. They're not in field goal range. Four receivers. And in trouble is McNamara and Rick Davidson's right here. They're going to run a little game. He's going to come outside, just rips right through the guard in this left tackle. And then gets a hold of Cade McNamara. Baltimore Ravens, who started Oklahoma State. A great field position for Michigan from the Nebraska 35. Defensive coordinator has done a great job, says he thinks. Dax Hill can play either safety or corner in the NFL. Haskins rumbles between Corum and Haskins. Haskins doing the bulk of the work tonight. Bradenton, Florida. Threat as a runner and a passer. Blake Corum. Third down and four. Haskins stopped to the line of scrimmage. Down more than ever before. Watch him work right across the face of the guard and just gets right in there and makes the tackle right at the pounds and the sides. I guess that's not sad. It looked delicious. <laughs> Michigan from its own 10, Blake Corum. Yeah. All kinds of things, including proceeds from sales of burritos. Yep. I would guess the line can eat there a lot. They Delay of game. Defense for using disconcerting signals. Disconcerting. Hassan Haskins runs. Let's put a signal to your defense. I mean, you, you can you do that? 
You can't. Defense, the, the offense gets the clamp. Three or four years ago, <laughs> yes, you could have. That belongs to the offense. And Hassan Haskins ran for three. Here's the pass to Cornelius Trimage. It's hard to believe the intent of that was to get them to jump, but if, as Matt says, you can't clap on defense. You gotta come up with a different signal. Third down and one, Michigan leading three to nothing. Under six to go till halftime. Third down and less than a yard. Haskins flag down. Bad, the long delay. Go play action, see if you can get a big play after that turnaround. It took a very long time, but it was pretty clear that the ball needed to be moved. McNamara play action as a man wide open. And a diving attempt made at the right time to, to take a shot at that play after they got the change on the first down call. 48-yard completion. Longest reception of the year for St. Russell is the year. Junior from Everett, Massachusetts. Play fake to Haskins. Into the end zone. Ball. Second and goal from the six. Michigan leading three to nothing. Haskins. Haskins down inside the one. Ball up and down. I We're think from that looked right there. Over top of Damian Daniels though. Nebraska scrambling to get lined up. It seems that they are. Haskins in the air and into the end zone. No doubt that time it's a touchdown. The center steps on him. He almost knocked him down. Still able to get the ball to his tailback. And then the leap by Haskins. As you see from the progressive pylon, easily across the plane for the touchdown. The yet. Well, there it is right there, down. That's his knee on the ground. We don't see the ball. Right. He's not turned it over, just one turnover all season long. An interception against Wisconsin late in the game last week. Here comes a blitz. McNamara got it off. Blake Corum spins around, breaks free from two defenders. You pick up your pace a little bit. Nice job just dumping it off, taking the underneath throw. He was under duress. Made the nice throw to Corum, and now you pick up your tempo a little bit with 120 left. Team missed tackle by Garrett Nelson. Low throw. 6 nothing Michigan, a minute 13 to go in the half. McNamara over the middle again. Belted from behind was Corum. He got hit hard by Feldarius Payne. So first down, so the clock will stop. Still with two timeouts, Michigan. One minute half again. That running back wide open in the middle of the field. And Corum did well. Three yards instead of getting out of bounds. I mean, you want to save those tight ends till you get on the other side of the 50 at least. Turn up the heat a little bit here on their side of the 50. Second and three, Dale and Baldwin, nice catch. First down and out of bounds. The defensive coordinator Eric Chenander has needed a big play. It's usually been this guy rushing from the edge, Jojo Doman. Doesn't look like he's coming on this one. The four-man rush, they still flush McNamara, who three. A pretty fair quarterback as a pro as well. Manages the game. Look out, McNamara being pursued by Ty Robinson. Pat. If they keep this two safety look, McNamara needs to look to the middle of the field. They try to surprise him with the run, and they do. Blake Corum inside of the 20 and throw him down near the 50. Outstanding work. Big call, too, by Josh Gaddis. Beautifully executed. First down and 10. McNamara threw it away. Why he hasn't thrown an interception, he's not going to put the ball at risk. Yep. There you see the block by the center, Bastardus, 68, and the block by Schoonmaker, 8. And the Nebraska 15. Pressure by Nelson. McNamara stepped away and throws it away. Flag down. First and goal from the three. Haskins, that's clearly a touchdown. Watched 71, the right tackle, just clear space for Haskins. Takes his man all the way into the center. This program looking for their first win against the ranked team in this year four under Scott Frost. And they propel them into a new place. Here comes a blitz. McNamara got it off. It's 23 attempts in a half. The most ever for McNamara. He set up his screen. Corum 
Nice move, but he couldn't get a lot lately on fourth down, but not this time. They'll send the puck team off. Yeah, they were asking a wide receiver to try to block Henrich, the linebacker, and he just had a great chance for Nebraska, but did not gather it in. So Cade McNamara throwing on first down yes. just as they've played <laughs> stiffer competition here the last three weeks. Eight minutes to go in the quarter. Open receiver and a first down to Cornelius John. Out at least for this play. Blake Corum. The guy that has played that position along with Zinter and Billy Onga. Donovan Edwards, the freshman. Fence. Michigan led 13 nothing in the half. It's 13 7 now. Haskins pulls his way to the first down. Looked like he'd be scrimmage. And he just pulled his way to the first down. And he stopped short of the first down, never stopped moving. McNamara got it off just in time for Dalen Baldwin. A nice catch on a low. You don't turn it over, you don't allow sacks. That's a pretty successful formula. How about Haskins again? You're not going to tackle me. Still powering his way very close to it. And it's been a much more balanced approach tonight than at any point this season so far. They've thrown more passes than they've had runs. 28 passes, 24 runs, 29 pass. Complete to Baldwin. Corum now who's in watch him see the blitz see his eyes already looking where the pressure might be coming from comes across the formation and just gets in the way of the blitzing 10 yard gain fifth catch for Baldwin playing for his third school two years at Oregon State the last two at Jackson State out of Southfield Michigan McNamara Baldwin open again inside the 10 and down in be the tenth play of the drive for Michigan. Trying to get back to a two-score lead. Haskins right up the middle for another touch. Watch right here. Watch number 68 just open things up. The right guard, who's the third right guard we've seen, Barn. 14 points. 3:36 to go in the third quarter. They try to pound it in with Haskins again. No, they throw it instead. And the ball off. Back in at quarterback, the freshman. And the ball is in quarterback for Michigan. He zips one a little low. Baldwin couldn't catch that one. Cam Taylor Britt. It is about as loud as it's been all night long. Big third down and ten. Over the middle, it's intercepted. Picked off by Deontay Williams. And he's down. Tight end down the middle, but he does not read the safety. The safety, Deontay Williams, has eyes on the quarterback the whole way. And he just throws it right to him. I mean, that is just... Wildest Saturdays that we can remember in college football. And that continues tonight. Blake Corm hasn't been very much in both these teams. Corum again. Corum stayed on his feet to get the first down. All lights on. Michigan fans dancing to the strains of Thunderstruck from ACDC. They really enjoyed last week at the end of the program in college football history and an undefeated team. Trying to turn this program around. Matt Lamera has a man. Oh, and it's boy. too long. McNamara over the middle. Derek Hall, the tight end. First down. Moving along the line. The play continues. There is a flag down. Perhaps a freebie for McNamara. And he's Haskins. But he is shaking off the interception that led to the Nebraska's touchdown. Haskins. And very close to field goal range at the very least. Thrown out wide. Nice move by Mike, Mike Sandra still. And the balance situation. Makes you have to respect the quarterback run, which McNamara really does not. He gets. 
Dave McNamara said he has no trouble with this arrangement. And great that the number two quarterback gets a lot of reps. Here's Corum. Corum with a burst to speed. Touchdown, Michigan. And the Wolverine. 44. He gets kind of frozen here. He, he kind of gets flat footed. He gets frozen. Good blocking on the perimeter by the tight ends and the wide receivers. When we talked to Eric Chenander, the defensive coordinator in Nebraska, one of the things he said. Michigan responded on its last drive. Can the Wolverines do it again? They start with a run. Hassan Haskins said they've run all these different plays and formations, and you never know what's coming at one time. You had a lot of respect for how difficult this creative Nebraska offense is to prepare for. Haskins with lots of room. Haskins up wow. and over. Still going inside the 30 and tripped up. I mean, just... An incredible play by Haskins. Great blocking at the point of attack. Schoonmaker, watch him lead up through here. 86, boom, block on Reimer. Block downfield by Filionga. And up and over, Markel Dispuke at the end of the run. 50 yards for Haskins. There at the Nebraska 25 in the blink of an eye. For him. good tackle. Having a little fatigue defending the run now. Doesn't feel like Michigan's running great tonight, but they're up to 209 yards. McNamara is back foot, and it is broken up in field goal range, which would tie it. That takes you back to Jim Harbaugh's decision to go for two when he had a 12-point lead. McNamara over the middle. Can Eric Gall get there? Yes, he can. The attempt of the night for McNamara, career high. Para. Inside the 10, Lake tackled by the field, either to protect a tie or a lead. Seventh play of this drive, Haskins tackled from behind. By the right tackle, move. Full start. Awesome. Multiple plays. Huge penalty. Two backup game for Michigan. Barnhart and Atterbury. Here comes a blitz. McNamara got it off. And Balin, Brad Robbins, the putter, is the holder. For the tie with 3.05 to go. Nice little baby draw. He played valiantly tonight. Turns it over. Michigan poised to break this tie. Now Scott Frost has got to use his timeout. He's got all. They're an easy field goal range for Moody. He's had a tremendous year. Corum. Could not escape from gear. With Haskins on his left hip. It is a run for him. And he is dropped for a loss. The ball. Comes up a 39 yarder again, no breeze from the left hash where he made his last one. Rock solid again, freshman, and it has been an up and down ride ever since. Well, you ask, why is Michigan undefeated? They've played solid, complementary football defense, offense, they take care of the ball, and their special teams have been outstanding through the first six games of the and Michigan. To six and off. It's so many similarities. It's two programs. It was a defensive battle in the first half. What changed, especially for your run game in the second half? You know what? I think uh, we left some opportunities out there in the first half, um, and we knew that. And I think us going down the field um, in two minutes was crucial for us. Um, and really, defense stepped up when they had to. And. Uh, we got the job done. This was your first time this season giving up a lead. You're in a hostile environment. What did you learn about your team in this one? I think Michigan teams in the past, no disrespect, but I think um, since I've been at Michigan, I think we lose this game sometimes. And I think it's a testament to the guys in that locker room, the coaches who have made a commitment to make this year different. And I think we got something special here. I've never seen Jim Harbaugh screaming in excitement after a win like this. What's special about this group? It seems like he knows it and you know it. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, we've noticed that Coach Harbaugh has been putting even more energy into this year, too. And I think overall, from just really a whole team perspective, um, it means a lot, and we care about winning. All right, congrats on the win. Thank you. Thanks. Sean.